we have a very similar problem here. We're going to be looking for cosine of 67 pi over 3. Now this problem has a positive angle, so I don't need to even think about even odd properties right here. But the angle's huge, so it's a whole lot of pi over 3s. So let's go and examine that angle right now. So first of all, we're going to need to know how many rotations are in there. 2 pi is 67 or 6 pi over 3. <clears throat> so that's how to think about rotations in terms of thirds. Now there's a whole lot of those in 67 pi over 3. Let's just guess 10. So I'm going to multiply this equation by 10. So 20 pi equals 60 pi over 3. I still need a little bit more uh, to hit that 67 pi over 3. Let's go ahead and add one more rotation to this. So that'll be 6 pi over 3 times, we're going to go times 11 now. It's 66 pi over 3. That's super close to 67 pi over 3. All right, and we got 11 full rotations. Once you hit more than two or three full rotations, if you try to draw 11 rotations, you're going to feel very silly after a while. It's going to be hard to look at that messy spiral. So I'm not going to bother drawing 11 rotations. What I'm going to do instead, our original angle 67 pi over 3. It's 66 pi over 3 plus 1 pi over 3. So we're only going to worry about the uh, leftover portion. You could call it the remainder after some division. Uh, so it's pi over 3 right here. So you need to have your unit circle memorized so you know the xy coordinates right here are 1 half square root 3 over 2. And we were asked about cosine. So in this case, we're going just with that one half right there. So cosine is equal to just one half. So all we did was pull the whole lot of rotations out of that angle. And what I graphed was actually the reference angle. So you could write pi over 3 is the reference angle for 67 pi over 3. The way you write reference angle, you put a bar on top. Just want to warn you, it looks like you've written a fraction with no numerator, but just know this is uh, the bar notation.